When I saw this item at Best Buy, I was really excited that someone finally came up with a good design for the upload your data to the SD card. I had a uh, Lexar SD card reader, but the problem with that one is the connector is too small and you cannot use if you have a, a case on your iPhone. Um, SanDisk, I had this one, but the problem with this one was you cannot expand the memory. Even though SanDisk my most favorite company when it comes to the memory cards or hard drives, but the problem is this one died within three months. And then I see this one at Best Buy, Leaf iXS3. It's really nicely designed little device. As you can see the material is really nice. And the best part of that is the connector is a long one. It's a longer connector, so even if you have a case on your iPhone, you can easily connect it. But the disappointment starts as soon as you plug it in. The problem with this one is you can save data from SD card to the iPhone, but you cannot do vice versa. The main purpose of these cards is this connector is you can upload your data from your iPhone to free up the memory, but this one kills the purpose. All the action cams, DSLRs, drones, every one of them got the Wi-Fi built in. So uh, I don't think there's any purpose of this one. So you can upload data from your drones, cameras to the phone easily through the Wi-Fi. Uh, well, they they made a nice little device, but they killed with the software. I hope in the future they will uh, uh, they will release a software upgrade, so you'll be able to uh, save data both ways. Then it will be a useless useful device. Till then, I don't see any use of it. Sorry, Leaf, I have to return it. I hope you like this video, and please subscribe to my channel. I really need your support.